women and children who have experienced trauma. Now our scholars who are heading to China. First, we have Joshua Bernardi. Joshua is from the University of South Australia and will be studying product design at Tianjin University. Joshua plans to intern with bicycle manufacturer Battle Bicycles. Next, we have Anthony Chu from the University of Technology, Sydney. Anthony will be studying international business at Shanghai University. Anthony plans to intern with PwC Shanghai's Deals Strategy Division. Our next scholar is Sophie Ether from the University of Adelaide. Sophie will study language and international business at Fudan University. Sophie plans to intern with an international wine company or an organisation in the field of tourism. Our next scholar is Kevin Goggin from Curtin University. Kevin will study management and commerce at the University of International Business and Economics, Beijing. Kevin plans to intern in China in the field of engineering and banking. Next, we have Jackson Hill. Jackson is from RMIT and will study landscape architecture at Tongji University. Jackson plans to intern with a landscape architecture firm in China. Our next scholar is Patrick Hurst from Monash University. Patrick will undertake legal and cultural studies at Peking University. Patrick plans to intern with international law firm King and Wood Mallisons in Shanghai, as well as the China Australia Chamber of Commerce in Beijing. Our next scholar is Maria Positano from the University of Adelaide. Maria is the first of three scholars today sponsored by PwC. Maria will undertake Chinese business law, cultural and language studies at Shanghai Zhao Tong <coughs> University. Maria will intern at PwC in Shanghai. Next, we have Maxine Silbert from the University of Melbourne. Maxine will study language at Shanghai Zhao Tong University. Maxine plans to intern in the educational leadership field while in China. Next, we have Madison Simpson Treshell from Queensland University of Technology. Madison will undertake economics, society and cultural studies at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Madison plans to intern with Austrade or the China Australia Chamber of Commerce. Our next scholar is Jack Steed from the University of Newcastle. Jack will study international business management at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Jack plans to intern with a sporting organisation in China such as the Royal and Ancient Golf Club or Su Zhu Junior Golf League. Next we have Sorel Steinauer. Sorel is from Curtin University and will study electrical engineering at Beijing Institute of Technology. Sorel plans to intern with an organisation focused on innovative clean energy solutions. Our next scholar is Cherry Zeng from Australian National University. Cherry will study sustainable development at Peking University. Cherry plans to intern at the United Nations Development Program in China. Finally, for China, we have our highest ranked China scholar and hence our China fellow, Sean Yeo. Sean is from the University of New South Wales. Sean will study international and Chinese law at Fudan University. Sean plans to undertake a software engineering internship at Baidu. Unable to be with us this afternoon is Michael Liang from the University of New South Wales. Ladies and gentlemen, our next scholar is our fellow for the Cook Islands, Margaret Lai. 2019 is the first time that the New Colombo Plan has a scholar for this host location. Margaret is from the University of Southern Queensland and will study primary health care, acute care and professional practice. Margaret plans to undertake a nursing practicum at Rarotonga Hospital. Now for our scholars heading to Fiji, starting with Audrey Dalton Power from Victoria University. Audrey will study community development and political science at the University of the South Pacific. Audrey plans to intern at the Pacific Community, focusing on social development. Next we have Jordan Ivey from Southern Cross <coughs> University. Jordan will study marine biology and science at the University of the South Pacific. Jordan plans to intern with a local coral conservation organisation. Next, 
we have Evangeline Packett. Evangeline is our first scholar sponsored by GHD. Evangeline is from the Australian National University and will undertake language studies, honours coursework and research at the University of the South Pacific. Evangeline will intern with GHD in Fiji. Our next scholar is Naomi Shanahan from the University of the Sunshine Coast. Naomi will undertake language studies, honours coursework and research at the University of the South Pacific. Naomi is currently considering her internship options. And our 2019 Fellow for Fiji is Oliver Lilford. Oliver is from the Australian National University and will study Environmental Science and Pacific Development at the University of the South Pacific. Oliver plans to intern with the South Pacific Tourism Organisation, the Pacific Community and the Secretariat of the Pacific Regional Environmental Program. Our next scholar is the 2019 Fellow for French Polynesia, Katerina Wellborn. This year is the first year that an NCP scholar has been selected for French Polynesia. Katerina is from the University of Notre Dame, Australia. This is also the first year that Notre Dame has scholars and I'm pleased <coughs> to say that Katerina is the first of four from Notre Dame we will announce today. Katerina will study history and culture at the Université de la Polynésie Française. Katerina will in turn with the Pacific Islands Forum Secretariat in Fiji. I will now introduce our 2019 Hong Kong Scholars. First, we have David Brown. David is from Western Sydney University and will study Health Sciences at City University of Hong Kong. David plans to intern with a local high school, utilising his Masters of Teaching degree to educate teenagers in applied health science. Next, we have Josie Bell Cardona from the University of Newcastle. Josie Bell will study civil engineering at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Josie Bell plans to intern with an organisation that develops sustainable solutions for urban living. Our next scholar is Jacob Cookson from Bond University who will study international law at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Jacob plans to undertake internships focused on arbitration within the Indo-Pacific region. Next, we have Jai Cornish Martin from the University of Canberra. Jai will study physical education and recreation management at Hong Kong Baptist University. Jai plans to intern with Hong Kong Rugby Union, working alongside a physiotherapist. Next, we have Bryce Devlin from Queensland University of Technology. Bryce will study logistics and language at Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Bryce plans to intern with a logistics company. Next we have Joshua Gaputan from Macquarie University. Joshua will study language and law at Hong Kong University Law School. Joshua plans to undertake internships with commercial law form firms in Hong Kong, China and Singapore. Our next scholar is Alinta, Alinta Haydock Burton from Swinburne University of Technology. Alinta will study production and cinematography at Hong Kong Baptist University Academy of Film. Alinta plans to intern with an NGO working on a documentary film and then at a film and television studio. Next, we have Megan Hobson from the University of Canberra. Megan will study journalism and media studies at Hong Kong University. Megan plans to intern with a local news outlet that covers a broad range of national and international news. Next we have Megan Hood from Curtin University, who will study mathematics and finance at the City University of Hong Kong. Megan plans to intern at the World Health Organization in the Health Policy and Financing Division for the Western Pacific region. Our next scholar is Samuel Jackson from the University of New South Wales. Samuel will study international law at the University of Hong Kong. Samuel plans to intern with an international law firm and at the Hong Kong Music Office. Next we have Jessica Kelly from Charles Darwin University. Jessica is being sponsored by King and Wood Mallisons and will study trade, investment and maritime law at Hong Kong University. Jessica will complete her internship at King and Wood Mallisons in Hong Kong. Next we have Casey Morrison from Edith Cowan University. Casey will study creative arts at Hong Kong Baptist University. Casey plans to undertake a practical internship at an arts centre. Our next scholar is Millie Vernick, the second of our scholars sponsored by PwC. 
Millie is from Griffith University and will undertake language studies, international relations and law at Hong Kong University. Millie will complete her internship at PwC in Shanghai. Our next scholar is Timothy Walsh from the University of Canberra. Timothy will study creative arts at the Education University of Hong Kong. Timothy plans to intern in Fiji at the Oceania Dance Theatre. Next is Jet Osborne, our 2019 Fellow for Hong Kong. Jet is from RMIT University. Jet will study biomedical science at City University and intern at the Baptist Hospital of Hong Kong in their clinical research department or pathology lab. Unable to be with us today is Shi Kiao Ding from the University of Wollongong. Next, we have our scholars going to India. The first of our scholars going to India is Reuben Cordell. Reuben is from the University of Southern Queensland and will study health and biomedical science at the University of Delhi. Reuben is considering his internship options. Next, we have Thomas Crelin from the University of Notre Dame, Australia. Thomas will study social and behavioural science at Punjab University. Thomas plans to intern at the Supreme Court of India. Next, we have Ashley Eden from La Trobe University. Ashley will study psychology at Lady Sri Ram College for Women. Ashley plans to intern at the Australian Embassy in Tokyo and the United Nations Development Program in India. Our next scholar is Zachary Fraser from the University of Queensland, who will study international law at O.P. Jindal University. Zachary is planning to intern with the United Nations Development Program. And two of our India scholars are unable to be with us today. Jessa Palencia from Southern Cross University and James Rosengren, our fellow for India, who is from Bond University. Now we move to our Indonesia scholars, starting with Lucas Carey. Lucas is from the University of Western Australia and will study environmental science and commerce at Bogor Agricultural University. Lucas plans to undertake a mentorship and internship with a conservation or research organisation. Next, we have Balram Dillon from the University of Melbourne. Balram will undertake language studies, public policy and international relations at Gajah Mada University. Balram plans to intern at the Centre for Strategic and International Studies in Jakarta. Our next scholar is Adam Hegedus from the University of New South Wales. Adam will undertake development studies at Gajah Mada University. Adam will intern with Educating the Future in Timor-Leste. Next we have Bethany Hosking from Monash University. Bethany will study public law at Gajah Manda University. Bethany will intern with the United Nations focusing on refugee law and with a legal firm in Indonesia. Next we have Zachary Luk from Griffith University. Zachary will undertake language studies, political science and policy studies at Gajah Manda University. Zachary plans to intern with a local Indonesian advocacy group. Our next scholar is Miranda Lucas. Miranda is from Monash University and will undertake language studies and human welfare studies at Gajah Mada University. Miranda plans to intern with NGO Aksara, working on gender equality and women's rights. Next, we have Claire McBride Kelly from Australian National University. Claire will undertake law, international relations and gender studies at Gajah Mada University. Claire plans to intern with the Indonesian Civil Society for Refugee Rights Protection, the Jesuit Refugee Service and the Thai Committee for Refugees Foundation in Bangkok. Next we have Liam McFadgen Lodge from the University of Melbourne. Liam will study international relations, language and policy at Gajah Mada University. Liam plans to intern with a public policy think tank such as the Bandung Institute of Governance Studies or the Centre for Indonesian Policy Studies. Our next scholar is Madeleine McGarvey from RMIT University who will be undertaking field research 
at Parayangan Catholic University. Madeline plans to intern with an international company such as McKinsey and Company or Bain and Company. Our next scholar is Dana Throssell. Dana is from the Australian National University and will study language, gender and international security at Gajah Mada University. Dana plans to intern with organisations that assist women to overcome hardship in Indonesia. Next we have Grace Williams. Grace is from the University of Tasmania and will study language and legal studies at Atma Jaya Catholic University. Grace plans to intern with PECA, a women's empowerment organisation. And next we have Cameron Allen. Cameron is our ASEAN Fellow for 2019. Cameron is from the Australian National University and will study Southeast Asian politics, security and international relations at Gajah Mada University. Cameron is planning internships with the ASEAN Foundation, the Centre for Strategic and International Studies and Tokopedia. And now, Jack Collard, our 2019 <coughs> Fellow for Indonesia. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack is also our 2019 Indigenous Fellow. Jack is from the University of Western Australia and will study political science, international relations and language at Gajah Mada University. Jack is planning internships at the Australian Embassy and with an Indonesian NGO. Unable to be with us tonight is Mark Kendall from Edith Cowan University. Next, we welcome our New Colombo Plan 2019 Japan Scholars. Our first scholar is Mika Biggin from the University of Tasmania. Mika will undertake environmental and cultural studies at Hokkaido University. Mika plans to intern with the university's chemistry department. Our next scholar is Odette Brown from the University of Newcastle. Odette is the QBE sponsored Indigenous Scholar for 2019. Odette will undertake legal studies at Waseda University. Odette will intern with QBE Australia and the United Nations Development Program. Next we have Samantha Kleine from the University of Tasmania. Samantha will undertake language studies, international relations and political science at Sofia University. Samantha plans to intern with an NGO in the field of sustainability or humanitarian issues. Our next scholar is Isabel Cole from the University of Western Australia. Isabel will study physics and cultural studies at Nagoya <coughs> University. Isabel plans to intern at an embassy focusing on law and international relations. Our next scholar is Jaden DeMello from Monash University. Jaden will undertake engineering, biomedical science and cultural studies at Nagoya University. Jaden plans to intern with an international medical device and engineering company. Next we have Lawrence Fudim from Victoria University. Lawrence will study international law at the International Christian or University and Lawrence plans to intern with the Australian Embassy in Tokyo and an international law firm. Next we have Rona Hamilton. Rona is from the University of Adelaide and will undertake cultural studies and physics at the University of Tokyo. Rona plans to undertake a research internship with the University of Tokyo focusing on photonics. Our next scholar is Jennifer Horton from the University of Sydney. Jennifer will undertake cultural studies and political science at Kyoto University. Jennifer plans to intern with the Australian Embassy in Tokyo or a Japanese branch of the United Nations. Next we have Narayan Khanal from the University of Wollongong who will study health and medical science at Kobe University. Narayan plans to intern in the field of public health and education. Next we have Luke Macaronas from the University of Melbourne. Luke will study art history and language at Waseda University. Luke plans to intern with TPAN, performing arts meeting. <coughs> Our next scholar is Joel Ransley. Joel is from the University of South Australia and will study architecture and environmental sustainability at Shibaura Institute of Technology. 
Joel plans to intern at an international architecture firm. Next we have Lachlan Salter from Federation University Australia. Lachlan will undertake Japanese language and cultural studies at Sanyo Gakuen University. Lachlan is considering his internship options. Next we have Scanlon Williams from the Australian National University. Scanlon will undertake international law, language and cultural studies at Hokkaido University. Scanlon plans to intern with the Comprehensive Ainu Policy Office at the Cabinet Secretariat of the Japanese Government in Tokyo. And now, our fellow for Japan is Laura Ratten. Laura is from the University of New South Wales and will study bioinformatics and language at Chuo University. Laura plans to undertake internships with a member of the Japanese Society of Bioinformatics and with a major international software engineering company. Unable to be with us is Jaslyn Younger from the University of the Sunshine Coast. And now, our scholars heading to Malaysia, starting with Michaela Fellharbour. Michaela is from Bond University and will study law, international relations, and research at the University of the South Pacific at Taylor's University. Michaela plans to intern with the Malaysian Centre of Constitutionalism and Human Rights, or the Human Rights Commission of Malaysia. Next we have Beth Kyniston from Deakin University, who will undertake agricultural and environmental studies at Universite Putra, Malaysia. Beth plans to intern at an orangutan conservation centre in Indonesia. And our fellow for Malaysia is Jemima Kang. Jemima is from the University of Queensland and will study social psychology at HELP University. Jemima plans to intern at the university's research centre for diversity. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next scholar today is Elizabeth Dale, our fellow for Myanmar. Elizabeth is from the University of Notre Dame, Australia. Elizabeth will study anthropology and history at the University of Yangon. Elizabeth plans to intern through World Unite with the Sabawa Centre, offering assistance for people in need. Next we have our Nepal Fellow. It's Melissa Raich. Melissa is from Murdoch University and will undertake cultural studies, honours coursework and research into sustainable development at Kathmandu University. Melissa plans to undertake internships with local organisations focusing on post-disaster reconstruction. Our next scholars are heading to Papua New Guinea. Firstly, Hannah Brimstone. Hannah is our first ever scholar from Flinders University. Mm. Hannah will study law and international relations at the University of Papua New Guinea. Hannah plans to intern at an organisation in the field of migration policy, such as the International Organisation for Migration in Port Moresby. And our fellow for Papua New Guinea is Dylan Mail. Dylan is being sponsored by Newcrest Mining Limited. Dylan is from Charles Sturt University and will undertake honours coursework and research into agri agricultural issues at the PNG University of Technology. Dylan will intern with Newcrest Mining Limited in their PNG office. And next, our fellow for the Philippines is Joel Kennaway. Joel is from Charles Darwin University and is sponsored by GHD. Joel will study engineering at the University of the Philippines. Joel will intern with GHD in the Philippines. We will now introduce our scholars for the Republic of Korea. Our first scholar is Ernst Botha. Ernst is from Curtin University and will study mechanical engineering and finance <coughs> at the Seoul National University. Ernst plans to undertake internships in the fields of engineering and financial consulting. Next we have Jade Bujaya from La Trobe University. Jade will study mathematics, science, and French at So Gang University. Jade is planning to intern in the field of mathematics. 
Our next scholar is Anastasia Lasko from the University of Queensland. Anastasia will study engineering at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. Anastasia plans to intern with an organisation in the field of robotics. <coughs> next we have William Lan from the University of Technology, Sydney. William will study epidemiology and health policy at Korea University. William plans to intern with the World Health Organization in Korea. Next, we have Shauna McPhee. Shauna is from the University of Southern Queensland and will study political science, <coughs> history and international relations at Yonsei University. Shauna is considering her internship options. Our next scholar is Kyle Meyer from Deakin University. Kyle will study finance and economics at Chang'an University. Kyle plans to intern in the field of finance or economics in Seoul. Next we have Justine Tanner. Justine is from the University of Notre Dame, Australia. Justine will undertake history and political science studies at Korea University. Justine plans to intern with a public policy think tank or a human rights NGO in the Republic of Korea. Our next scholar is Jamie Wong from the University of Melbourne. Jamie will undertake language studies, computer science and international finance at Korea University. Jamie plans to intern with Samsung in either their learning and development, accounting or finance departments. And now Jack Donaldson, this year's Republic of Korea Fellow. Jack is from the University of South Australia and will study business management at So Gang University. Jack plans to intern with the Korean shipbuilding industry. <coughs> Next, we have our Samoa Fellow, Evangeline Sharman. We have selected a scholar for Samoa for the first time this year. Evangeline is from the Australian National University and will undertake sociology, <coughs> political science and cultural studies at the National University of Samoa. Evangeline plans to intern in the field of political and social change. Our next group of scholars are heading to Singapore. First we have Chelsea Clark. Chelsea is from Deakin University and will study architecture at the National University of Singapore. Chelsea plans to undertake internships in the fields of engineering, architecture and construction management in Singapore and China. Next we have Benjamin Dalgano Fixter from the University of Wollongong. Benjamin will undertake electrical engineering and language studies at Nanyang Technological University. Benjamin plans to intern in the field of engineering. Our next scholar is Kelsey Gray from the University of Newcastle. Kelsey will study environmental science at Nanyang Technological University. Kelsey plans to intern with the United Nations Economic and Social Commission for the Asia Pacific. Next we have Stephanie Hilton from La Trobe University. Steffi, Stephanie will study biomedical science at the National University of Singapore. Stephanie's internship will focus on biomedical research and palliative care. Next we have Ethan Huang. Ethan is from the University of Technology, Sydney and will study engineering and technology at Nanyang Technological University. Ethan plans to undertake an innovative legal technology internship with Flip Centre. Our next scholar is Abigail Joseph from Griffith University. Abigail will study health science at the National University of Singapore. Abigail plans to undertake internships with the public health sector in India and Japan. Next we have Kira Malloy. Kira is from Curtin University and will study computer science at the National University of Singapore. Kira plans to undertake internships with the Genome Institute of Singapore and Google Singapore. <coughs> Next we have Julia Mugliston from Edith Cowan University. Julia will study occupational therapy at Nanyang Technological University. 
Julia plans to intern in occupational therapy with a focus on children. Our next scholar is Connor O'Brien. Connor is from the University of Melbourne and will undertake economics, Southeast Asian security and political studies at the National University of Singapore. Connor plans to undertake internships in the fields of environment, development or security studies in China or India. Next we have Jared Paul from Central, sorry, Central Queensland University. Jared will study electrical engineering at the National University of Singapore. Jared plans to intern with the Nanyang Technological University in their corporate lab. Next we have AJ Sivanathan. AJ is from the University of Sydney and will study international law at the National University of Singapore. AJ plans to intern with an international law firm. Next we have Shannon Welsh from Deakin University. Shannon is our third PwC sponsored scholar and will study legal technology and international law at the National University of Singapore. <coughs> Shannon will intern with PwC in Singapore. And now our fellow for Singapore is Bridget Smart. Bridget is from the University of Adelaide and will study mathematical science at the National University of Singapore. Bridget plans to undertake internships with the Genome Institute of Singapore and with a Japanese organisation focused on the field of statistics. Unable to be with us today are Han Zhe Tang from the University of Queensland and Benjamin Zhang from the University of Technology, Sydney. Our next scholars today are going to Sri Lanka. First, we have Nishta Chata. Nishta is from the University of Sydney and will study political science at the University of Colombo. Nishta plans to intern with an organisation focused on development. Next is Adrian Stevenson, our Sri Lanka Fellow for 2019. Adrian is from Curtin University and will study international business at the University of Colombo. Adrian plans to intern with the Market Development Facility. And now, our scholars going to Taiwan, starting with Nancy Kay. Nancy is from the University of New South Wales and will study international law and cultural studies at National Taiwan University. Nancy plans to intern with an international law firm in Hong Kong. Next, we have Christopher Giagudakis from Monash University. Christopher will study electrical engineering and technology at National Taiwan University. Christopher plans to intern with an innovative technological company. Our next scholar is Jesse Nguyen. Jesse is from the University of Technology, Sydney, and will study international law and social science at National Taiwan University. Jesse plans to undertake internships in the fields of social entrepreneurship and law. Next we have Sarah Smedley from Edith Cowan University. Sarah will study creative and visual arts at Taipei National University of the Arts. Sarah plans to intern at the Taipei Artist Village. Our next scholar is Lachlan Tucker from the University of Tasmania. Lachlan will undertake medical studies at Taipei Medical University. Lachlan plans to intern within Taipei Medical University's research lab or an affiliate hospital. Our next scholar is Sean Warner. Sean is from Queensland University of Technology and will study creative <coughs> practices and design at National Cheng Kung University in Tainan. Sean plans to intern in the field of industrial design. Our 2019 fellow is Bethany Green, who is unable to be here today. Bethany is from the University of Tasmania. Ladies and gentlemen, our next group of scholars are heading to Thailand. First, we have Fraser Lawrence from Macquarie University. 
Fraser will study international law at Tamasat University. Fraser plans to intern at a regional Southeast Asian law firm focusing on dispute resolution. Next we have Courtney Taylor from La Trobe University. Courtney will study science at Mahidol University. Courtney plans to intern with the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Next is Taylor Mears, our fellow for Thailand. Taylor is from the University of Canberra. Taylor will undertake tourism and cultural studies at the University of Bangkok. Taylor plans to intern with Tourism Tahiti or the Foreign Consulate in Papeete. Unable to be with us today is Malachi Muliacic from the University of Canberra. Our next scholars are going to Vietnam. James Fairley is from Griffith University and will undertake in international law and cultural studies at the University of Economics, Ho Chi Minh City. James plans to undertake internships with the Australian Consulate General in Ho Chi Minh City and with the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Regional Training Centre. Next is Genevieve Ritchie. Genevieve is from James Cook University and will study Business Management and Economics at RMIT International University, Vietnam. Genevieve plans to intern at a consultancy firm with a focus on economics. Unable to be with us today are Kaylin Lockhart, the Fellow for Vietnam from the University of Queensland. Lacey Cornell, our Fellow for Bhutan from Charles Sturt University. And Christina O'Shea, our Fellow for New Caledonia from the University of Wollongong. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our presentation of certificates to the New Colombo Plan 2019 Scholars. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Julian Lowe, back from Hong Kong. Hong Kong, yeah. How are you oh. feeling, man? When did you get back? Amazing. I've only been back three weeks and straight to Canberra here for the new Hong, uh, Scholars Reception. Awesome. How did it finish yeah. up in Hong Kong? Very, very quickly. Um, left with... So I did six months of internship. Um, my last month was just a ton of goodbyes. Um, trying to cram in all the last food and hikes that I really wanted to do. Um, but it was a great time. So really amazing. What, what was it like? I mean, having been in Hong Kong and developed like these really close relationships with yep. the fellow NCP scholars, mm. what's it like to kind of wrap up that experience and come home? It's really odd because you see people dropping off um, throughout the entire 2018. You have every month someone leaving, going back home. Then slowly the cohort gets smaller and smaller and smaller. But as the cohort's getting smaller, you're seeing the new 2018 scholars coming in. Nice. Um, it'll be the same thing for these guys going in for the 2019. So you have the new ones coming in just as the old ones are leaving. So there's always going to be a community there. So always new people getting brought into the groups. And it's, it's a great time for to meet new people and expand the NCP, um, just Hong Kong community. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And so we're at the um, in New Colombo Plan Scholarships presentation. Um, Governor General over behind us just getting getting mobbed by people, which is kind of cool. Yeah. You know, here we've got we've got like 125 young Australians about to head out on these crazy experiences. Mm. What advice would you give them about to get like going to their NCP experience for the first time? Get into everything possible. Just max out your program. Um, if yours is currently six months of study and three months of internship, just max it out to one year, six months. Um, one year of study, six months of internships, because it's a once in a lifetime experience, really. Um, you can only be on the program for as long as you, you want it to be, but 
they give you the money to be able to do as much as you can. So there's absolutely no reason for you not to um, make full use of it. Besides, unless there's something that the university is not allowing you to, really there's no excuse to not make use of it. So that would be the, the ultimate um, piece of advice, I would say. And yeah. um, so somebody who's hesitating about making that call, about like staying out there for longer, because yeah. it's a big commitment, right? Like life Huge. takes over, yeah. you know, you don't want to interrupt your degree and end yeah. up 12 months behind. Exactly. What would yeah. you say? See what you can do to make sure that, to, to really make your experience as big as possible, because universities are there to help you. Um, they always want you to be having as big of an experience as possible. So um, if you're overseas, your global office wants you, be, wants you to be out there. Your subject area coordinators who are helping you organize your study programs, they want you to be out there because that's a time of, that's like a life experience. Um, no one's out there to make, um, make you have a lesser experience. So yeah, damn it, your, your, your country is out, wants you to be out there. Everyone's on your side, so <laughs> that's exactly it, yeah. Um, see what you can do because it'll work out, hopefully, yeah. Now, and tell me, any surprises, like when you got off the plane, oh, in fact, we had a good chat about that in Hong Kong, didn't yeah. we? Okay, so for those of you who haven't seen um, Julian's interview in Hong Kong, I'm going to drop the link down the bottom here in the description, so make sure you check out the interview, because we had a really good chat, up at, like the big, big Buddha in <laughs> Oh, amazing, great interview, yeah. Um, anything that surprised you? Since coming back? Yeah, since you came back. Culture shock, I was surprised, wasn't actually as big, of reverse culture shock wasn't as big as I thought it would be. Um, I was expecting to be so used to Hong Kong, especially having been in Hong Kong for so long. Um, coming back to Australia, I thought it would be a massive wind down and not be able to um, really get used to anything for quite a while. But it's pretty easy. Once you get used to so many different cultures, getting used to one that's you're already used to is actually not that big a deal. Nice. Um, so, that was actually the biggest surprise, yeah. And what's next for you, man? Where are you heading next? What are you doing next? I'm actually off to Nepal for a month. Um, <laughs> off to volunteer. So, man. in a bit of um, earthquake resilience work engineering. So, that'll be a, still actually on my Very NCP nice. program. Not completely done, but that's my next bit. So, that'll be in the rest of this year. You're unstoppable, man. <laughs> This is, the, this is the awesome thing about the NCP riders, you know. Julian, I sat on Julian's interview panel back in... 2016. 2016, right? Yeah. And here you are, man, off to Nepal to do great things in the world. Congratulations, mate. Thank and you so much. I look forward to speaking with you in six more months, wherever you're going to be then. <laughs> Keen to do it again. All right. Take it easy. Thanks, Steve.